What is up everybody? It's Cobes here and today I am back with another Fortnite video. In today's video, I would say we have a pretty interesting concept. I could do this series once per month for as long as Fortnite is still live. So the concept for this video is basically going through each item shop by day in November and picking only one item. What item would I take from that item shop? And by the end of this video, we'll take a look at all the items I picked and see if it made a pretty good locker. So we're gonna do this for the month of November, starting out with November 1st. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and tell me if you'd want to see more of these. Oh, and by the way, October 31st, if we click on it, technically it goes into November 1st, but I'm not going to count this one. I'm gonna count the one that started on November 1st. So starting out with November 1st, I would say Dante and Rosa are out of the question. The Ghoul Trooper is in consideration. Skull Trooper because of that inverted edit style. I do think these backlings are pretty dope. Brainiac I like for the edit style. The Reaper, I feel like we could find more simple pickaxes out there that are just like the Reaper, but I think are better. But to be honest, guys, the Skull Sickle is the item I'm going for for the November 1st item shop. The reason why I went with the Skull Sickle on this one, I like each of the edit styles i think they're all unique in their own way and i like the pickaxe overall for the november 2nd item shop these are the items we got and i'm not gonna go with the pickaxe on this one i don't like any of them enough don't really care for wraps all that much as of right now maybe if there's one really unique one i'll go with it but the choice i have to make is this skin just solely based on the back bling i think the back bling is so unique i don't really care for the skin but we're going with one skin with the dope back bling all right sounds good moving on to the november 3rd item shop guys i feel like this should be an easy decision for anyone who loves to sweat the spark plug the spark plug is my favorite item in the shop and i love this sweaty girl skin the billy bounce was a close second though for the november November 4th item shop, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't know what to go with. There's not one item that stands out to me as amazing and that I have to go with. So you know what guys, I have to go with the cryptic solely based on his back bling. I'm sorry guys, I don't want to have to do it, but I think the spectral spine is just too unique not to. I absolutely love that back bling. I gotta go with it, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't think I was gonna do this so much, but I just have to. For the November 5th item shop, we do have a few different items in contention, but I would say nothing down here looks even remotely decent. But if I had to go with one skin, even though the Demogorgon is so sick, I have to go with the Supersonic. This is a skin that I personally like, and all the edit styles are different, and I like them all in their individual way. If I were to only purchase a select few skins, I would pick my favorite skins with edit styles because I mean this is like four skins in one. For the November 6th item shop, this one is a tough one. The community vote winner was the Bush Ranger, and I did vote for it, but I think there is one skin that I like slightly more. And honestly, the pickaxes, the dances, even the rap, I wouldn't say are even close to as good as the Cloak Shadow. I really like slender male skins because some of the bulkier ones you can't really use in game. That's why I think I like this skin so much. And I really like the shadow theme this skin has. I think it's a dope idea and we need more skins like it. For the November 7th item shop, I really don't care for the Raven or the Ravage as much as I did early on in this game. I think they are very dope and I know a lot of people still love these skins but they were way more loved early on. I think the Dark Triceratops is very tempting here but I think the best item in this shop is the Iron Bee. I used to not really care for this pickaxe but now it's one of my favorites in this game. For the November 8th item shop we got the Dark Triceratops back yet again but sadly guys I have to go with the Icebreaker. If I could only have a few items 
items, the icebreaker would be one of them. And that's talking about every single skin or every single pickaxe or every single glider out there. This is one of my favorite items in this game. It's so simple, it's so clean, and I love the sound of it. I gotta go with it. For the November 9th item shop, guys, we have a few bad items, I would say. I think the dead eye is decent. The spectral scythe is way too big to use. Assault trooper is a default skin, or at least season one default. The broad, I wouldn't touch with a hot dog pull focus is all right but i think the best item here is the electro swing for the november 10th item shop the doggo is somewhat appealing i do think the shadow ops is okay ruby's okay light show i hate so to be honest guys if i had to pick one item out of all of these i would probably go with the magic wings this is easily top five of my favorite gliders in this game and i did want to at least pick up one glider for this video for the november 11th item shop this one is honestly too easy for me the star wand was in contention it lost i think the luminous is pretty dope and i like its back bling wouldn't choose either of these biker skins the maniac the maniac is pretty cool i can't even deny it the dream is so close in second place but the astral axe wins this is one of those pickaxes that i just couldn't pass up even if the dream was close it was so close for the November 12th item shop, this one is a tough one, not because all the items are great, but because most of them are pretty bad. But to be honest with you guys, I gotta go with the Mesmer. I not only like his back bling, but I actually like his skin this time around. We do have a few other items down here. I think the bolt's decent. Snack attackers are decent as well. I think the sunbird is probably the second option here, but Mesmer has a cooler back bling and I like his skin more. For the November 13th item shop, I really don't know what to go with. Bandolette is such a sweaty dope skin, I really like it. But honestly, Pumpernickel is one of those items that I just can't pass up. I gotta go with it. For the November 14th item shop, guys, this one is not a hard decision. I feel like I need a few more sweaty girl skins and the Toy Trooper is that perfect skin. For the November 15th item shop, the wraps were close, but I feel like the studded axe is similar to the icebreaker. It's just one of those pickaxes that I couldn't pass up. Even though the maven has a really nice back bling and I think the skin is dope as well, I don't think I could pass up the studded axe. For the November 16th item shop, none of the emotes really appeal to me. This top layer of skins I don't really care for. I think both these wraps are actually pretty good, but the skin I would have to go with is the Surf Rider. I feel like I use sweaty girl skins more than I really want to admit to myself, and this one is definitely something I would use. For the November 17th item shop, I don't know why I'm this way, but pickaxes always appeal to me, I think even a little bit more than skins. So my decision was made easy when I saw the Rainbow Smash. I love this pickaxe as of right now. It's sort of a love-hate relationship, but right now I'm loving it. Even though the Bright Bomber is tempting, maybe even the Bright Gunner for that Bright Bomber back bling, but I have to go with the Rainbow Smash here. For the November 19th item shop, I gotta say, this is probably the hardest decision so far. I feel like we have some pretty solid pickaxes all around the board, some good emotes, some good skins. I don't really dislike anyone except for the Burnout. So really what it comes down to are these three skins, Red Knight, Scully, or Waypoint. If I had to decide between one i would probably go with the more simple design of the waypoint moving on to november 19th this one is a tough one finally getting some legendary skins i like into the mix honestly all three of these legendary skins i like and i can't really decide so you know what since i can't decide between these three i have to go with the best emote here one i can't pass up on the full tilt this is such a great emote to be added in to this game and there aren't too many emotes out there that i would actually buy over skins but this is that one example that i would have to go with it even over the leviathan for the november 20th item shop we have a few decent emotes some decent skins around the board i really like the dark bomber even though i think it was ruined by Faye sway and all of his fanboys 
The Brew Gunner is definitely decent. I don't hate the Garrison, but honestly, guys, if I had to pick one, the Criterion wins every time. Ever since the Eon came out, I found more and more appreciation for this skin, even though I think it has a weak back bling. On November 21st, we got the Big Chungus, one of the biggest skins in this game, dare I say the biggest. Alongside the Double Tap, probably the biggest pickaxe in this game, no doubt about it. The Forebearer is definitely appealing but I would have to say the chopper is one of my favorite rare girl skins in this game even though it's not coming alongside the red shield which I think is an amazing combo but you know what we're gonna find a different combo I gotta pick the chopper for this one on November 22nd we got the trigger fish and that was it on November 23rd, we got the Trigger Fish alongside the Night Knight. I love this clown skin. I actually like it a lot more than the female version as well, so I'm glad this one's in the shop. Don't really care for the emotes. The Pink Flamingo is decent. Match point, definitely wouldn't pick, so Night Knight it is. On November 24th, honestly, I didn't really realize this until now. Epic Games doesn't really add that many sweaty skins in the item shop. I felt like those skins were some of the most purchased skins, but maybe that's only for like pro players and sweats out there. Maybe my perception is skewed because I think honestly more male skins and like meme skins sell better than probably these sweat skins. I'm not going with the Dynamo, so I'm gonna go with the Aura here guys. This is one of my favorite tryhard skins and I gotta cop it. For the November 25th item shop, my decision was made easily right away. The Pterodactyl is my favorite glider in this game. I gotta go with it. For the November 26th item shop, not too many items that really catch my eye. I think the Moxie has a pretty decent back bling. I think the Riley is okay, but it's a reskin of the waypoint. I think the Nighty Knight is decent, but honestly guys, the Scarlet Defender is what I have to go with simply because of her edit style. For the November Number 27th item shop guys, the Autumn Queen is such an easy decision. I like the skin, but the back bling is so sick. For the November 28th item shop, thank god it's back. The Smash Rooms, these pickaxes are so funny. I really like them. The Scourge was a close second though. On November 29th, I have to go with it guys. It's one of my favorite bundles, the Vertex bundle. It has so many items I love. And finally guys, for our November 30th item shop, our last item shop of the day. This one's a tough one. I do like both of these demon skins. This one has a better back bling, the male one. The female one I think looks better. The driver is one of those very simple pickaxes, but the one I have to go with is the globe shaker so if i purchased one item per item shop in the month of november this is what my locker would look like so starting out with the skins we got the criterion here the supersonic vertex cloak shadow one of the only skins i got solely based on his back blings we have the globe shaker the surf rider the spark plug the mesmer i really do like this male skin same with the cloak shadow the cryptic the other skin i got solely based Based on the back bling, we have the Chopper, the Night Knight, the Autumn Queen, the Trigger Fish, the Waypoint. And to be honest with you, the Autumn Queen I think is okay, but I probably wouldn't buy it unless it had that dope back bling. The Aura, we have the Scarlet Defender with that edit style, and the Toy Trooper as well. So for my pickaxes, we have the Astralax, the Rainbow Smash, Skull Sickle, Iron Beak, Razor Edge, the Smash Rooms. We have the Icebreaker and the Studded Axe. For my gliders, I got the Magic Wings. These are in my top five. The Pterodactyl is my number one. The Forerunner, we sort of got by default. For my emotes, we got Electro Shuffle, Full Tilt, and the Pumpernickel. I wouldn't have purchased a single wrap throughout that month because I think I would have picked other items. Here are my back bling choices. I don't like every one of them. Deflector I think is okay. Stabilizer don't really care for. One of my favorites throughout this. The ornament as well is one of my favorites. Even though I really like that skin. And still would get the skin even without this dope back bling. The shadow wings I think are okay. I probably wouldn't use them too much. Even though they go with a lot of skins. 
The Autumn's Mantle, one of my new favorite backblings in this game. Absolutely love it. The Hypnotic, I love that orange color scheme there. If you guys can't tell, I do like the color orange. The Signal Hub is definitely decent. I would use it if these were my only options, but I think it's just pretty plain. The Spectral Spine, one of my favorite backblings in this game. So overall, guys, I would say we got a lot of dope choices throughout this. I was surprised at how many skins I was able to get if I were only able to purchase one item per day for a month. And I think a lot of them are some dope choices, even though these may not round out to be my favorite skins overall. I think they will do. So tell me what you guys think. Should I make one for maybe last month? I could definitely do that. If you guys want me to do this in the future, make sure to tell me in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy. This was a lot of fun, and I'm definitely planning on doing it in the future. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.